Hey boo, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. I know I'm looking a little crusty. <laughs> but nah, I look crusty for real. Y'all please excuse my my appearance. I'm bunning it out today. Um, but as you can see from the title of this video, I'm coming at you with a story time. So this is the time my mother tried to take a titty off, girl. She tried to take it to try to take it all but it's such a funny story so it starts off this is like a couple of days after my eighth grade graduation so of course uh you know summer vacation has started i'm with i'm with my friends you know we trying to celebrate or whatever whatever so we end up um trying to go to the movies okay so at this time of course i'm eighth grade so i need none of us driving so we getting drove around by parents or whatever. So um, I asked my mom, hey, can I go to the movies? Would you pick me and my friends up after? She like, yeah, cool. So, of course, we did not end up at the movies. We ended up walking around all night. Ended up going to my ex-boyfriend's crib. Talking about we might spend a night or whatever. So we plotting and planning. Okay, I'm going to tell my mama this. You tell your mama that. Tell your tell your auntie this. Because the two girls I was with, of course. So I'm like, tell your auntie this. Uh, you spend the night at my house. I'm going to tell my mama I'm going spend the night at your house. You tell your mama that you spend the night at my house. And, you know, we plotting and planning on how we, we fit a lot to our parents and, and, and go spend the night at my ex-boyfriend's crib. Crazy, right? All right. So nighttime pull around. Not thinking at all, my mom goes up to the movies looking for me and my friends. We're not there, of course. So she get back to the crib. She like, where you been? After searching for me or whatever. Cause, no, what happened was one of the girls, her auntie was like, nah, I think, what, what happened? I think she said her auntie told her, nah, she couldn't spend that in my house or she her auntie wanted to talk to my mama something happened like that and anywho whatever the case had happened we ended up going back to the crib and my mama finally came back to the crib and she looking like why why you weren't at the movies where you was at i was like oh yeah don't ask me why i lied oh yeah we was at the movies with my friend mama picked us up and brought us home and this and that she like oh yeah so she just questioning me. She just questioning me. At this point, we in the car now, um, taking my friend, my other friend. That she she was the only one that didn't live over there because the other girl who auntie she lived she was living with her auntie. They she lived like right across the street from me. But the other girl she lived like further down the street. So she needed a ride home. So my mama said she'd take her home. She wanted to talk to her mama anyway. So I'm like, okay, yeah. Um, uh, well, you know, my friend's mom came in and took us home. I meant to call you and tell you and this and that. She like, oh, oh yeah. I'm like, yeah. She like, oh, okay. So she just interrogating me. She asking questions, asking questions. I'm coming out with these lies back to back to back. I'm, I'm, I'm hitting. She asked, I'm hitting. She still ain't believing me, but I'm still hitting her with these lies. Like I'm still hitting her with these lies. Then all of a sudden, little crybaby in the back want to bust out crying. We love, we was at this boy house and then it is just a cry. I'm like, what is she crying for? She not in the front seat with her mama. I'm in the front seat with my mama. So she over here telling the, telling the whole little spiel. And I'm in the car like, oh my God, she did not just tell her this. So my mom like, oh yeah. When I say my mom reached over and punched me in the titty so quick, it was gone. I thought it was gone. I thought I had lost the whole titty. I thought the to the whole the whole left side was gone. I was like, oh. I didn't even know how to respond. But my mom my mom definitely pun punched me in the titty. Punched me dead in the tit. I was like, are you kidding me? She in the back crying. I'm trying to figure out what the hell she crying for. She ain't get punched. She ain't in the car with her mama. So we get to her crib. I'm in the front seat like, oh my God. Oh my God, she finna kill me when we get home. I'm about to be a gone. I'm about to die. Today's the last day. Let me write my will right now. Shout out, you know, to my to my peoples. I'm gonna see y'all at the crossroads because this is it. This is all. 
So we get to her mom, her crib. She tell her mama what's happening. Uh, see them kind of, the kind of people I was hanging out with. They moms and them didn't really care. So of course she didn't get in trouble for none of that. She didn't. She didn't get in trouble for any of that. But the girl was grounded for like two weeks. I had to spend a whole week in the city of Monty House with absolutely nothing to do. It was it was a bad start to that summer, for real, for real. It was a bad start. Cause the crazy part, it was so messed up too. Because right, like right before all this had happened, I had finally started going with this guy that I have a crush on for the longest. Like he was so fine, light skin, pretty eyes, everything. Started going together, right? The same day we got caught, I I, I gotta spend the first two weeks of my summer in the city, or and no punishment. So, of course, that relationship didn't last. I didn't see him again until... I didn't see him again until... Because we went to two different high schools. I ended up going to one school. He went to the other school. But I was on the chilling team. So, yeah, my freshman year, I was on the chilling team. So, I ended up going to one of their football games. And that's why I ended up seeing him. And he like, what happened? And I had to explain to him what kind of... I didn't tell the whole story. But I explained to him what happened. I'm like, yeah, I got in trouble for some stuff. And I was... I was grounded for a whole full two weeks. And my mama shipped me to my auntie house for two weeks. And I was in the city bored with nothing to do. It was crazy. No phone, no nothing. Just at my auntie house doing puzzles. I mean, luckily my sister was there. So, you know, I could talk, chit chat with her or whatever. But, yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. But, yeah, that's the story with my mom tried to take one of my boobs she tried to take it now i keep telling her that i tell her to this day that she is responsible for paying for my boob job she ain't she don't believe me when i say this but yes hold on baby give mommy a minute okay. yeah so she don't believe me when i tell her that but she's definitely responsible for my boob job because i don't think I don't think they, <laughs> I don't think they look at Eva right now, and I, I, they was fine until she punched me in one. So I think it's her fault. But yeah, that's the story of when my mom tried to take a titty off. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I got one more on the way for you guys, which is even crazier. So stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs> Hi, 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 So yeah, I'm about to take a shower. Thank you for tuning in to that session of... Oh, be right back. Be right back. Thank you for tuning in to that, that little snippet of Life with Leia. And here she comes. Oh, hi. Can I help you with something? No. I, I did what they said they do, but... But it wouldn't work. You smell clean. Thank you. I like it. No. Yeah. Why are you smelling clean? Because you smell clean. Quit it. I like it. Quit it. Quit it. Hey, guys. Oh. Yeah, you might want to turn it around. Hi, guys. It's me, Leia. And I don't know. And oh, Mama. Can I, can I, in my 
Media Play. Do you mind? Oh, I'm buying my video. Oh. And she picked my camera. Okay, well, again, thanks for tuning in to that small little portion of Life with Leia where she had to get in her few minutes of airtime. I guess we can call it that. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I go ahead, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. You're too close. Bye.